So let's say I just joined a company as a developer and I got my new laptop and I want to get SSH access to the infrastructure. So typically, um, this would involve me making a um, public-private key pair and I have to run some SSH key gen command. And then I need to copy the public key and paste it into Slack um, or make a JIRA ticket so that somebody at the company can um, add my key into a playbook somewhere or in a GitHub repo and push, um, you know, deploy it out to the infrastructure. So that's kind of a hassle, but it also means that I have a private key now on my laptop that can access the infrastructure. It's stored on disk and it's uh, static, it's long lived. Um, and somebody has to remember to remove my public keys um, from the, the hosts when I leave the company. So I wanna show you how this works, uh, how we address all of this stuff with small step. So we start by running the step command, which I just installed with Homebrew. And we're gonna configure our SSH client locally to use small step. So it pops open a browser window, takes me to my identity provider. And I sign in with my company email. And now two things have happened. My laptop's configured to use small step, to use certificates um, to reach and sign into managed hosts. And um, I have a fresh key pair that lasts for 16 hours that I can use to SSH. And I can see a list of hosts that I can SSH to with step SSH hosts. And then all I need to do is run SSH um, and just give the host name. And you can see um, it's logged me in as Carl. And it also created a, an account and a home directory for me. So we do three things. We offer the user lifecycle management. So we actually manage your POSIX users on your hosts. We sync with your identity provider. Um, and offer access control to all the hosts. And then we also offer audit logging. Um, so we log all the sessions on SSH. So let's say I do a sudo session, go root and do some stuff and log out again. That sudo is also managed by the product, um, like access to sudo. And then you can see um, in the log, the session log, here I am signing into that host and you can see that I changed to root for a few seconds there.